When we think about matter, and we think about the building blocks of matter, the atom is really a very, very key thing that comes up in terms of our thinking. So all of matter is composed of these, uh, these particles and they're called atoms. So I've got a uh, picture of an atom over here. Um, this, is a, this is a representation of an atom because all atoms have some fairly similar features. So in the very middle of an atom, there's always a nucleus. So this is the nucleus here in the middle of this atom. And the nucleus is where these subatomic particles live called a proton and a neutron. So protons and neutrons reside in the nucleus of an atom. And the third subatomic particle is something which is called an electron. And electrons, they zip around the outside uh, of the uh, nucleus of the atom. There's a great drawing here. Um, but the, so that's a basic representation of an atom. Now, in actual fact, that, that representation there, that's called the Rutherford model. A, a guy called Mr. Rutherford invented it uh, a long time ago. And our knowledge of atoms has improved a little bit, quite a lot since then. And uh, over here, I've actually got a, a different representation of an atom. So this is, is more accurate, accurate, but it's still fairly similar. So in the middle here, there's a nucleus. And in the nucleus, there are pro this is a uh, helium atom because it's got two protons and two neutrons. So there's two protons and two neutrons uh, in, the, in the nucleus of the helium atom. And instead of the electrons kind of zipping around in these you know, funny shapes, there's actually more of an electron cloud. Electrons kind of exist uh, in this cloud surrounding the atom. But certainly we, we do know that uh, atoms are made up of a nucleus in the middle with protons and neutrons and electrons zipping around the outside. So when we think about those subatomic particles, we think about um, all three of them. We think about a proton, a neutron, and an electron. Um, we can, they've all got different pro properties, really. So a proton is, is actually got a positive charge. So a proton is positively charged. And as I said, it's found in the nucleus of an atom. A neutron has no charge. So it's got a neutral charge. Uh, again, it's like I said, it's found in the nucleus. And the electrons, those, they're teeny tiny particles, subatomic particles that zip around the nucleus in an atom, they've actually got a negative charge. So they're the three subatomic particles, proton, neutron, and electron. And those three subatomic particles together make up atoms. And uh, they are the building blocks of all matter and really vital for everything to exist.